In this video I want to show how a Chinese solar garden light works. This is uh, how such a light common, commonly looks. Here you find a small chip. On the one side uh, there's a solar cell connected. The solar cell often looks like this. Four cells inside, each generating approximately 0.8 volts. And on the other side of the chip you will always find a white LED connected. Here you see how it looks in real. Oh, I disconnect something. This is the white LED. This is the small chip, the black um, part here. And this is, I assume, a small coil. Uh, what in fact happens here is that the DC voltage from the solar panel that charges the battery, this type of battery, it's 1.2 volts, is converted into a higher voltage. And the reason is that a white LED uh, cannot work on 1.2 volt, and that's the normal voltage from such a um, rechargeable cell. A white LED um, lights up on approximately uh, 2.68 volts and the white LED gives a very bright shine on 3.3 volts and it uh, stops on uh, 2.43 volts. So the trick is to uh, make a generator that generates uh, a higher voltage, it changes the the DC voltage from the charged cell, charged cell into an AC voltage that goes up to approximately 3.3 volts. And that, what's, that is what is done here. This is in fact a very small uh, DC to AC converter. And that's also the reason why you cannot easily connect the output from this small converter to another circuit to drive something. Perhaps um, it's easy to, um, to see that um, this uh, voltage here, that's created here, can drive another electronic circuit, but that's not the case. And I want to demonstrate it here. This is a 100 nanofarad capacitor and I connect this 100 nanofarad capacitor parallel to the, the output from this small Chinese uh, converter and when I do this, this, the LED stops. You can see it here. I connect. So that means that when this generator is loaded with capacitance or perhaps even with resistance, uh, the generator doesn't work properly and it doesn't generate the voltage that it was made for. So approximately 3 volts. Here on the oscilloscope you can see what the waveform looks like parallel to the white LED. You can see that the generator generates a sort of square wave. And uh, what I also found here when I tested this circuit, when I parallel, when I bridge the white LED with the capacitor, it changes into a triangle wave. So this circuit is also usable to make a triangle wave generator and this can of course be used in other uh, electronic uh, circuits, devices. So when you want to make an easy triangle wave generator take this uh, simple garden LED circuit, connect a 100 nanofarad capacitor parallel to the white LED and you will find this waveform. Quite interesting. It's more or less by luck that I found it. So this video is also named uh, how to make a simple triangle oscillator. And the reason that the white LED doesn't want to work on 1.2 volt is that the barrier voltage inside the white LED 
to make some light effect is approximately 3 volts. So the voltage parallel to a white LED must raise above approximately um, 2.6 volt to make the LED work. Wish you luck.